Okay, I just want to finish off this problem 2.9. I was going to leave it, but then I realized that this is actually an important thing. Uh, sample problem 2.9. In the previous video, we left off by showing um, an equivalent force acting at point A, but actually it acts anywhere along. It can act. You can apply this at any point along the line of action of A. So what we could then ask ourselves is, well, okay, well, what is this equation of this line of action? Um, and we'll see. So we, we want to, we, we can actually calculate this equation of this line of action. And then that equation will allow us to find any point on, on this line of action where we can apply this force of 148.3 to give us the same equivalent net external effect. So how would we do that? Well, we know that um, MO, the, that resultant couple, this resultant couple moment in vector form is R cross R, where R is any, where R is, is, a, is kind of similar to your moment arm, but it's a position vector from point O to remember any point along the line of action of this force. Please remember that, any point along the line of action. And then R, of course, is the resultant force. So what is R? Remember, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get an equation that tells us any position along this line of action that I can put this force, I can apply this force, so that it gives me this equivalent situation. So we're trying to find then the coordinates of this position vector. Okay, so there is the position vector xi plus yj. Cross, we're doing the cross product. Cross the force, r, which is, um, well, it's over there. But remember, th this is the rx component, and that is the ry component. Uh, rxi plus ryj and this is equal to the moment of minus 273k right meaning it's going in the negative k direction or your fingers are curled clockwise around the k the z axis okay so i don't have time to do this now but Please make sure that you understand the cross product. We go this times that plus this times that plus this times that plus this times that. And remember what I cross I is. That's zero. I cross J is K. J cross I is minus K. And J cross J is zero. Okay. But make sure that you revise your I, I cross J, I cross K, etc. What, what are all those things? Okay. And we're left with this. So 132.4x minus 66.9y is equal to minus 237. That is our equation. That is our equation. What does this mean? Uh, so this is an equation of, of this line that tells us where we can actually apply this force of R we can actually apply it so that it gives us the same effect. So, for example, if I wanted to apply it somewhere along this line, th that was my x, right? And that was my that's my x-axis, my y-axis, and that's the origin. That means, remember, O is the origin. That means that if, if I say, okay, where on the x-axis can I apply that? Then I make y zero and I solve for x and I get minus 1.792 so I can apply the force R at that point or what if I wanted to apply it somewhere on the y-axis which means that I make x 0 and I solve for y and I think I got something like 3.5 I can't I can't remember but all you do is then you make x 0 and you solve for y and then you can find where 
what is the what is the value of that point along the y-axis okay does that make sense all right